And we've got new information tonight about the ties between the disaster in East Palestine, Ohio and Michigan. Local officials holding a news conference tonight after learning hazardous materials from the site have been transported to Wayne County. Jacqueline Francis live at one of those sites in Romulus and she's with us now with the latest developments. Jacqueline. Devin, just as that news conference was ending tonight, U.S. Representative Debbie Dingell got a text from the EPA saying no more hazardous material is coming here to Wayne County. But what about the stuff that's already been sent, including the contaminated wastewater sent here to this site in Romulus? The outward effect of it looks like we're being sandbagged. Wayne County Executive Warren Evans holding a news conference Friday evening. After learning tons of contaminated dirt and liquid material from the East Palestine train derailment were delivered here. Not knowing that they're coming, which way they're coming, uh, how safe the trucks are that are coming, uh, is something that has got us all very, very irritated. The hazardous material is called a vinyl chloride, a chemical known to cause cancer and can be lethal. The materials were sent to two different licensed hazardous waste sites in Wayne County, owned by the same company, U.S. Ecology, a deep well liquid injection site in Romulus and a contaminated soil site in Belleville. And I have health issues uh, that I'm concerned about. I have issues about, uh, you know, environmental injustices in terms of what's going on there. And I think that's something that we should have heard about sooner. Uh, not be scurrying around 15 minutes before a press conference uh, to, tr to try to have the facts to be able to give to you all uh, and the public in Wayne County. Local officials say the train company Norfolk Southern made that call, taking them by surprise. The EPA has now taken over the derailment site, communicating directly with elected officials like Congresswoman Everybody Debbie here. Dingell. But I want to make what, one thing really clear from the governor on down, our job and we will deliver on our job is to ensure that those that we represent are safe and that no one ever, ever again blindsight everybody the way they did on the delivery of uh, this material. We've reached out multiple times to the company, but have not heard back. Meanwhile, one of those lingering questions is what's going to be done with the material already here and can it be handled safely? That's one of those questions that elected officials we heard from. They're now focused on. We'll be sure to keep following this story. Reporting live from Romulus, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. We sure will. All right, Jacqueline.